So if you watched my video the other day, you saw that I was doing my top five fragrances that I picked up in 2022. And I know that you guys also said in my live, you wanted me to tell you my worst five pickups that I picked up in 2022. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, AK Fragrance Dude, as you guys all know, and I'm doing another list that you guys asked me to do, which is my worst five pickups of 2022. Not necessarily new releases. I don't think there is no re new releases here. These are just fragrances that I picked up in 2022 that I just necessarily didn't like. Uh, most of them, I kept the full bottles. I actually have four of the full bottles here. Um, but with that said, they were mostly cheapies. Um, I'm not going, whenever it comes to something that's like a designer, like a more expensive designer or something like that, I usually do my research on it before I pick it up to make sure that it's something that I would be interested in, uh, especially whenever I'm at like Marshall's or something like that. That's the only time that I'm going to pick things up that I don't know what they are just to try them out. And then again, most of the time I'll just keep the bottle because of the price. With that said, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then an extra one that I just decided to add in about a minute ago. Before we get into the video, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And before I get into it, also consider following me on Instagram and TikTok if you do like my content. Uh, so I'm just gonna get straight into the first one. The first one is actually one I still have in the box because I am not wearing this and I'm probably just going to take it back and see if Marshalls will do a return for me and just exchange it for another fragrance. And that is Versace the Dreamer. Uh, I gotta be honest, there was a lot of you guys in my chat that were asking me to pick this up. And I was like, I, I haven't tried it, never really cared to try it. Um, it's a Versace, I've never been a huge fan of many Versace fragrances. I mean, there's like one or two. But overall, I've never been a huge fan of them. I picked this up. People were like, it's a great fall and winter fragrance, blah, blah, blah. If you watch my channel at all, you know I do not like florals very much. And this is, and I also don't like the old style fragrances, the more um, kind of like the ones that take you back to like the 80s and stuff. And wow, there's a lot of fragrances in this list that do that. This one does it the most. It's pretty much what it is. It's just a older style, florally fragrance, almost like a barbershop stop, not really. Um, it's not horrible. It's just not one that I would ever in a million years see myself wearing. I don't understand why people were telling me to pick this up. Like if you watch my channel, you know I'm more of a fan of the real citrusy fragrances or when it comes to fall and winter, the sweeter fragrances and stuff like that. Why do I always keep trying to take this cap off? Yeah, it's just, it, it's dated. It's not one that should be bought in 2023, uh, even 2021, 2020, it's, it's definitely not. I remember Jeremy Fragrance used to po uh, post about this fragrance. I honestly don't know what it is. I, I'm not going to go deep into the notes about any of these. I'm just gonna let you know which ones they are, why I don't like them. It's just florally, it's dated, not for me. Going into the second one, I actually bought a few of the, I was sent this by the company themselves. Um, and while I love a lot of their fragrances, they also sent me a full bottle of this one and then I actually re, um, sent it to one of my subscribers. I don't like it at all, but I still have the decant. It is called City on Fire by Imaginary Authors. Um, really, it just smells like you went to a campsite and you were burning a bunch of logs and then you fell asleep and you woke up the next morning while the embers were going out. It really just smells like that. It smells like a city on fire. Um, I, I, I don't want to smell like that. I mean, while it does what it says it's going to do and imaginary authors usually does get all of those feelings very correct like a whiff of waffle cone smells like you're walking into a uh, ice cream parlor but you're smelling like this caramel stuff like it. they do it well and make it into a nice fragrance this one it literally just smells like a burning log there's nothing from the beginning to the end that's anything other than a burning log i'm not a fan of it 
that city on fire from imaginary authors love the brand do not like that one same i am it is not very good i'm saving my worst one for last by the way this one i got from a rack store haul um it, or wait did i get it from fragrance net i think i got it from fragrance net because it doesn't have a cap and i i don't think a rack store would have no cap but no cap um ferrari pure lavender is the next one here and honestly I, I don't know what it is about the fragrance because usually I like lavender, but I think it's just because it's pretty much what it is, pure lavender. I mean, there's a little bit of a citrus, there's a little bit of a woodiness, a little bit of a muskiness, but overall it's just lavender. It's just, it's not one that I find myself wearing. Of all of these, this is, this is probably the one that I would wear over any of the other ones. It's not terrible. It's just, I had a hard time going through my collection and picking out my five worst pickups of the year. I had two that I knew, and that was Versace Dreamer, or three, uh, in Yope Ohm. But this one, it's, it's okay. It's just, it's not one that I would recommend unless you can find it for the price that I got, which was 10 bucks. It's just not for me. Pure lavender, it's just, it's just kind of like a dated fragrance, as are most of these. Um, but I'm not going to go much into it. It's just, it's a Ferrari fragrance. It's kind of like Radiant Bergamot, but lavender. I like Radiant Bergamot though. Uh, going into the next one, I don't know what people see in this. I honestly don't. Mont Blanc Individuel. This is just dated. It's, they're all, it's super dated. Um, it's like powdery, aromatic, kind of herbal. I, I just don't get it. I, I don't, it's not something I would wear. It's, there's like a florally aspect to it. Um, it's just dated. It smells like something my dad would have worn in 1980, honestly. And it's probably when it was, came out. This is the first time I tried it. I just decided to buy it because a lot of people were talking about it on my channel. Mont Blanc Individuel, I mean, again, like pure lavender, it's not horrible. It's just super dated. The only two that are really horrible on this are the Versace Dreamer, which actually isn't horrible. The, the next two, so I actually have six here. The next two are gonna be the worst ones on this list. Mont Blanc Individuel, it's just dated, not for me. I don't think you should try it if you're looking for, unless you're looking for something that is real old school. It, it just, that's the way that I'm thinking. That's the way I feel about it. Going into the next one, I only have a decant of it that I put in the scent box one. Um, this was my worst pickup of the year until I picked up the next one, but this is Boss Bottled Oud. Uh, I told you guys a lot of times, Boss Bottled Oud, I don't know. I went to Jensen's channel and he just talked about how it's the best designer Oud that you can possibly get. I've tried a bunch of Oud since then because that this was the first Oud fragrance I actually tried. And I tried a lot of Oud fragrances since then, niche and designer both. And this one is still terrible. It just... Uh, the woodiness in it, it was super animalic. It was super fecal. It just, I don't know if it was just me. It was super dark, super in your face. It smelled dank. Did not like it. Not a big fan of it. Um, I didn't get any of that apple accord or people that people were saying that you get in the background. Boss Bottled Oud just isn't for me. Like Stronger With You Oud, fantastic. They did that perfectly. It comes off more of a woodiness. This comes off just not good. I've tried... Uh, Nishio Oud for Greatness. That's even better than this, which again, that's niche, but this, I just don't like. That's uh, Boss Bottled Oud. It's just dank, dark, really in your face. My wife hated it. My daughter hated it. Not for me. Now going into my worst pickup of the year. This came out probably 30 years ago. Uh, I, I've seen it all the time. I remember smelling it on people when I was in high school and not liking it, but I picked it up anyway because it was like eight bucks on Fragrance Buy and I needed to get one more in the cart just so I had it, but I kind of wish I didn't. Yope Ohm. And yes, this is the first time I ever tried it in 2022. It's garbage. I would rather cover, I, I would cover up my dog's shit. I, I'd cover this up with my dog's shit. That's what I'm trying to say. It's that bad. Uh, Yope Ohm, I, I just don't understand it. It really, it has very similar qualities to something like that Mont Blanc Individuel. It's just, it's super heavy. It smells very medicinal. It smells like baby powder mixed with like a diaper full of Indian food. It's absolutely disgusting. I, I don't know how people ever wore this, ever liked it. 
I mean, and what's funny is that I own two other Yopes that I got this year, Yope Ohm Ice and Yope Ohm Wild, and I love them both. Uh, Yope Ohm is just terrible. It's like powdery, it's nasty. I just don't like it. Um, but yeah, those are six fragrances that I picked up in 2022. I'm just not beating around the bush telling you notes and stuff. I'm just telling you I don't like them. I'm not going to wear them. Two of them, Mont Blanc Individual and Ferrari Pure Lavender. They don't necessarily deserve the hate because one's just old school and one's just pure lavender. Um, but the other ones, to me, that they deserve the hate. It's, they're just not for me at all. I wouldn't, they hate, I hate them. Um, but yeah, let me know five uh, or which ones you hated from this year that you've tried. Again, not new releases or anything like that because there wasn't really any new releases I can think of that I hated. Um, but with that said, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which ones you didn't like this year that you picked up and I'll be back with another video. Peace out.